and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready to listen to Lulu Bell Ladybird? Mrs. Ladybird was having a bad day. It was washing day and she had so much to do. The baby ladybirds needed feeding, clothes needed mending, and the beds needed making too. Don't worry, Mummy, said little Lulu Bell. Now I'm a big ladybird, I can help. I'll go and get all the things you need. Then you will have less to do. Oh, that would be so helpful, Lulu Bell, said Mrs. Ladybird. So off Lulu Bell flew. The first person she met was Miss Spider. Mmm, you look tasty, cooed Miss Spider. Please don't eat me, pleaded Lulu Bell. I need some thread. If you can spare me some of yours, you can. And she whispered in Miss Spider's ear. That would be nice, agreed Miss Spider. When she got to the pond, she met Mr. Frog. Mmm, you look tasty, croaked Mr. Frog, licking his lips. Please don't eat me, said Lulu Bell. I need some water, and if you give me some of yours, you can. And she whispered in Mr. Frog's ear. Yes, please, nodded Mr. Frog. Lulu Bell bumped into Kitten, playing in the garden. Meow, you look tasty, purred Kitten. Please don't eat me, squeaked Lulu Bell. I need some toys, and if you can give me one of yours, you can. And she whispered in Kitten's ear, Meow, lovely. Then Lulu Bell met Early Bird, who was looking for worms. You look tasty, twittered Early Bird. Please don't eat me, begged Lulu Bell. I need some sword feathers, really nice and soft feathers. And if you can let me have some of yours, you can. And she whispered in Early Bird's ear, You're on! trilled Early Bird. Phew, breathed the worm. Lulu Bell met Mr. Squirrel, who was collecting nuts. You look tasty, chattered Mr. Squirrel. Please don't eat me, said Lulu Bell. I need some nuts, and if you can give me some of yours, you can. And she whispered in Mr. Squirrel's ear. Perfect, cheered Mr. Squirrel. Pleased with her day's work, Lulu Bell fluttered home. Her tired mum was pleased to see her back safe and sound. Well done, Lulu Bell, said Mrs. Ladybird. You have saved me so much work. What a caring little ladybird you are. No problem, said Lulu Bell. Everyone was kind and generous. I just had to promise one tiny little thing. I promised they could all come for tea. How nice, sighed a weary Mrs. Ladybird. You really are a caring little Lulu Bell. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next video.